Hello all, in this video tutorial we will discuss uh, mainly material script that is intermediate link <coughs> with your application and uh, cg file. So uh, cg file that is a vertex program, fragment program and geometry program. So let's uh, come here we have header file I think we had discussed in these all in our previous tutorials okay now cpp file we have constructor destructor point light uh, directional light spotlight and set camera create a theme create scene and key pressed event fine here in key pressed event uh, u is for cre uh, creating sky dome j is for plane again n is for plane m is for plane is for sky box now let's come to sky dome what we are doing here is calling uh, material script for <coughs> sky plane Again, we are calling <coughs> material script and in sky box again we are calling material script now what is this material script material script is basically <coughs> uh, a text file in uh, general uh, uh, layout term but have a specific extension of dot material as here we have examples dot material <coughs> from Ogre SDK. <coughs> now how these uh, material file link to your program here comes resource.cfg that we have placed here in release uh, uh, our project setup uh, skybox bin and then release here we have resource.cfg <coughs> in this resource.cfg within a particular resource group and uh, a resource uh, type uh, we initialize <coughs> we link our folder of uh, cg files as program scripts material scripts as script folder textures as texture and further we are going to uh, initialize these zip files within packs subfolder <coughs> for skybox now let's see where it is actually now okay let's come here <coughs> this is the SDK now come to media and in media come to material here you have CG files, GLSL, HLSL file for your uh, shader programming uh, that is vertex, fragment and geometry programs. Material script files are here and here is your example dot material file. Fine. This is the file. Okay. Now texture. Here these are the textures. <coughs> Basically <coughs> this is the texture uh, <coughs> that we have as uh, clouds in the sky dome and this is the texture that we have as sky plane so uh, let's run it now what we have is p point light t directional light as a spotlight now sky dome is this sky plane is this 
sky another sky plane is this and sky box is this so uh, uh, we have a material script for sky box is this I had changed it for some uh, linking reason here I am I am facing right now <coughs> So uh, here in material script we have this material for skybox as we had seen material scripts for cube and uh, sky dome and uh, sky plane <coughs> Sk uh, material script let's see once more material script for sky dome is this one and material script for planes is this one now <coughs> linking of these material files so <coughs> basically uh, uh, sky plane and sky dome both are using one uh, single images this one for sky plane and this one for sky uh, dome now these textures are here this is for sky plane and this is for sky dome <coughs> but let's change it as uh, this we will see the effect and uh, uh, so this is for sky plane and now this is for sky uh, dome now let's see uh, uh, sky box for sky box we have material <coughs> this this is uh, the linking name reference name for six images for all uh, to map uh, surrounding of environment mm, box in 3d in our 3d world and this is the linking state in your resource.cfg file now <coughs> this zip file is basically located here as this one and now <coughs> let's run it So, some point light, directional light, and spotlight translating camera and are updating it. Now we have this clouds dome, sky dome, uh, sky plane, and uh, another sky plane with sky box. Now let's change these images uh, uh, fine we had changed sky dome and uh, sky dome and sky plane and uh, let's change it with sky box also and this will be somewhat this okay now let's run it now what we have as 